Apparently in Final Cut Pro, you can't save a title template. And what I mean by that is if I were to come into my titles and look up custom and drag this in, I could change what the text says, scale it up, change my font. And then let's say I wanted to add some basic animation. So I'd come on over to the title inspector, maybe set the opacity to zero, the scale down to zero, maybe set the position down quite a bit. And from there, we could set the end duration to be a little bit shorter. And so if I were to push play, we'd have this quick little animation in my video. But what if I wanted to use this exact same animation in other projects around Final Cut Pro? Well, Apple, if you're listening, please add the ability to save a template. It would save us so much time. Because that feature is not here, I'm gonna show you a quick workaround using Apple Motion. What we are going to do is right click on our custom title and select open a copy in Motion. Now really quickly, you'll wanna double click on this secondary green marker here and change the type from standard over to build out optional. That's just a little bug in Final Cut Pro and that actually happens to fix it. We're gonna come up to the top left, select file, and then select to convert project to effect. After we've done that, we can leave the effect source as a new effect source. From there, what we can do is select our title, go over to the inspector and locate all of our different attributes here. So let's go ahead and publish our font, our scale, and basically every other parameter here so that we have the ability to change this directly in Final Cut Pro. Because this is going to be an effect, these will not be visible right out the gate. So just make sure that you publish each and every one of these and that will make your life that much better. One last attribute that we're gonna to wanna to publish is if we select our title, we'll go to the appearance and make sure we publish the face. That way we can actually change the color on this text later on. So now all of those will be published over to Final Cut. We can go into our project here and see all of the different attributes that will be accessible from Final Cut Pro. If you happen to wanna to change the order of where these are, we can go ahead and select some, I'll hold shift, and then we can select up to the font here, for example. I'll just click and drag this up to the top. From here, all we need to do is push Command S to save it, and that will allow us to publish over into Final Cut. Let's just call this the custom title template maker. And from there, we could go into our categories and put it in whatever category we like. I will throw it into tutorials and push publish. If we go over into Final Cut Pro now, all we need to do is first apply an adjustment layer. So I'll just drag this onto the timeline. I'll have a free download to an adjustment layer for you to use. And once you have that adjustment layer, just look up your custom title template inside of your effects, not inside of your titles, and click and drag that onto your adjustment layer. So now this is going to work just like a regular title. However, rather than changing the attributes inside of your title here, let's go ahead and change that over to the video inspector. So now in here, we can change all of these different settings. So I'll change the scale to be quite a bit larger. We could go ahead and go down to our animation attributes and this is where this really shines. We can adjust the position to be down below. We could write in whatever word we want and that will be saved. We could go ahead and change our font over to a bold version. Um, really whatever you want to use in these different attributes and these will be saved forever. So now that we have this all set up as we would like, if we push play, you'll see we have this nice little animation that plays out. All we need to do is select save effects preset. Once I've done that, I can label this whatever I like. So I could just call this subscribe and save it in whatever category I like and push save. So now if I look up subscribe, I could apply an adjustment layer and then I could apply this title onto that adjustment layer. So if I push play, now you'll see it still has the exact same animation data. It has the same font. It has the same basically everything. So this can be a massive time saver if you happen to make a lot of titles. Maybe you've created a lower third that you are constantly copying and pasting over to other projects. Well now if you save it as an effects preset, you're going to save yourself a whole bunch of time. So hopefully this video was helpful to you in some way. If it was, consider pressing that like button. Also, you might want to check out this video where I show you how to recreate a Johnny Harris highlighter effect using Apple Motion for Final Cut. Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.